Hi guys, it's Yaya. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a deep conditioner. Our key ingredients for this deep conditioner will be high quality ingredients from Oslove Organics. Thank you Oslove Organics for sponsoring this video. We're also kickstarting the 2022 Oslove Holiday Series. Each month spanning from October to December, we'll have a special video highlighting some ingredients that you can use to make your own DIY creations or holiday gifts. For Halloween, we definitely had to bring back the pumpkin seed oil to make this deep conditioner. I made a 300 gram batch and it's going to consist of a water phase, oil phase, and cool down phase. Check the description box down below for the full list of ingredients and measurements. Before we jump into the video, let's highlight our key ingredients that make this deep conditioner unique. The first key ingredient is of course the pumpkin seed oil. I'm using this as an emollient to strengthen the hair and of course to add some shine. It's also going to give your deep conditioner some moisturizing and softening properties. Our next key ingredient is shea butter. Shea butter will also nourish the hair providing elasticity and also strength. It will also help to soften and moisturize the hair and keep it from breaking off. Our next ingredient is the organic hair massage oil from Oz of Organics. This is a unique blend of oils that can help with your overall scalp health and also hair growth. It also takes the guessing work out of which oils you should use in your DIYs. It's already made and blended up for you. All you have to do is just add it to your creations. All of these key ingredients can be found at Oz Love Organics. Check the description box down below. Now let's jump into the making of this deep conditioner. Starting off with phase A, which is our water phase, we'll need our solvent, our conditioning agent, and our humectant. That's just gonna translate to distilled water, some glycerin, and a little bit of panthenol. So what you wanna do is go ahead and measure your ingredients. I'm starting with about 210 grams of distilled water followed by 12 grams of vegetable glycerin. This is our humectant. This is gonna draw in hydration to our strands. Next is panthenol. I'm using just about three grams. This is our conditioning agent. It penetrates the strands to give you shine, slip, and a whole lot of softening properties, okay? Once you have measured out your water phase ingredients, it's time to combine them. I'm adding glycerin to my distilled water. Blend that in until it has completely dissolved and is uniform. Then you can add in your panthenol. You want to also blend that in until it has completely dissolved and the solution is uniform. After blending in all of your ingredients, you can go ahead and sit your water phase to the side while we work on the oil phase. Moving on to phase B, which is our oil phase, we'll need our emulsifier, our emollients, and our thickener. For my thickener, I'm using 9 grams of cidal alcohol. For my emulsifier and additional conditioning agent, I'm using BTMS 50, 15 grams. For my emollients, I'm using 12 grams of shea butter, 12 grams of the hair massage oil from Oz of Organics, and 18 grams of pumpkin seed oil. Once you have your oil phase ingredients measured out, all you have to do is combine them into a heat resistant container. You wanna make sure your container is heat safe because we're gonna be placing this into a water bath and placing it on the stove to melt down on low heat. We'll also be placing our water phase ingredients into a heat resistant container and placing it on the stove to heat it up to a similar temperature to the oil phase. This will make it easier to bring our water and oil phase together. The emulsifier also plays a major part in bringing the water and oil phases together. Without them, the water and oil will basically repel each other and destabilize your product. And yeah, you don't want that to happen. So once you place your water and oil phase into the pan, go ahead and place it on the stove. And after about 10, 15 minutes, it should be ready. And we're just going to pour our water phase into our oil phase. This is the first step into making sure that we're creating a very stable emulsified deep conditioner. 
Another way to make sure your product is stable and completely emulsified is to use an immersion blender. The immersion blender definitely helps to give you that high sheer blend that will allow your emulsified creations to stay together and to stay stable okay so i made sure to blend this for a good maybe 20 to 25 minutes i just wanted to make sure that the product was completely blended and uniform now it is piping hot still but you can see it is starting to thicken up as it cools it will continue to thicken up but it's not going to be waxy or too heavy it's going to be the perfect consistency It's super super moisturizing lightweight and creamy it's going to give you everything you're looking for but it's not waxy okay but you can just see how lovely and thick this mixture already is so now we're just stirring and just making sure that our product is creamy smooth and uniform and we want to allow that temperature to come down so that we can add in our cool down phase ingredients that consist of like our preservatives and our fragrance oils are very heat sensitive so you want to make sure that you do cool down your product and as it cools continue to just stir it and mix it and just look how lovely that consistency comes out to be if you find that it's still not as smooth as you like make sure you're blending long enough all right so our final phase is phase c which is also our cool down phase here we're going to add our preservative antioxidant fragrance in our hydrolyzed protein for my preservative i'm adding 2.7 grams it is highly recommended that you add a preservative since this formula has water for my oils, I'm using rosemary oil extract. This is a super antioxidant that's going to help prevent your oils from oxidating and keep them from going rancid. You can also use vitamin E if you prefer. Next, I'm adding 4.5 grams of hydrolyzed hemp protein. This will help strengthen the hair and protect it from damage. It also increases elasticity for healthier hair and it also helps to smooth the hair cuticles. For my fragrance oil, I wanted to keep with the Halloween theme and use the Pumpkin Cream Brulee. You guys, it smells so good. It has this sweet, creamy, but spicy smell. It's perfect for this deep conditioner. You should definitely, definitely give it a try. So now that we have our cool down phase, we can go ahead and add it to our base product. Because of the hydrolyzed hemp and also the rosemary oil, this will slightly change the color. You can definitely substitute those out if you prefer for it to stay a whiter color, okay? But I definitely don't mind it. I like the end result and the color. What I did do, however, is I added a little bit of the product into the cool down phase first, and then I mixed that together before adding it into the larger batch. I do this just to make sure that nothing is going to destabilize the full batch and i won't waste a full batch uh, sometimes things can be a little iffy with your preservatives depending on what preservative you use or which fragrant oils you use you want to definitely be careful about it destabilizing the product so um, it's just always a good idea to test out a small batch first before adding in your cool down phase okay all right you guys this is what our final product is looking like it looks so creamy and it smells delicious, you guys. I definitely hope you give this creation a try. It is so softening to the hair and it makes it feel so lovely and refreshed and restored after using. So definitely, definitely, definitely give this a try. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this into a container. You wanna make sure that it is airtight and that it is well protected. This is shelf stable. You do not have to place it in the refrigerator. You can if you like to, but nobody wants cold conditioner in their hair. But as uh, long as you use uh, the correct preservative, this should last you at least a good year, okay? To use your product, I would apply it to wet hair. Usually is best after shampooing. I know some people deep condition before shampooing, but for me, you wanna open up those cuticles and allow the deep conditioner to further penetrate even more to give you more softening properties, okay? So you're just gonna gently work that through your hair roots to tips. You can take this time to also detangle, and then you wanna just leave it on for about maybe a good 10 minutes, is more than enough, and then rinse it off thoroughly, okay? And you'll have yourself a really great, functioning, effective, 
deep conditioner you guys that smells absolutely wonderful and i hope you guys give it a try i want to say thank you again to oslo organics for sponsoring this video i am so excited to partner with oslo organics once again for the 2022 oslo holiday series how did you guys like the halloween video i definitely enjoyed it make sure you stay tuned for part two and part three there will be two more videos in the oslo holiday series for thanksgiving and december you guys so definitely stay tuned you can also follow me on instagram at yaya diy creations for more information and make sure you hit that like button the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can keep up with all the videos that i'm coming out with so definitely stay tuned and thank you guys again for watching and yeah i will see you in the next one bye